Hey guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at what the gravity is in Star Stable. So to do this we're going to be using physics. If you hate the math part, just skip to 246 to see what the results are. So we're going to be using this equation where y equals vit plus one half gt squared. y is the distance, vi is the initial velocity, which is zero in free fall, t is time, and g is gravity, which is of course what we're solving for. So as we um, figured out in one of our older videos, how, which is how high does a star stable horse jump, that our character is about 5 feet tall, just slightly shorter than the average woman. So we use this height to find y. She's 5 feet tall, and then this rest of the portion is about 2.8 feet. It's not near 5, but it's slightly over half. So it's 7.8 feet total, which we convert to meters, which is 2.37 meters. So the next part is just to find time which is 0.19, which is extremely fast. So once we plug these values in, you can solve for g, and it ends up being 131.3, which is a large number. On Earth, gravity is 9.81. So the reason this is, is 0.19 is so small, and there's so much room for error. So we're just going to do another trial over a taller distance. The height will be more, it'll be more accurate. So uh, this wall is very high, so if we measure it in halves, this bottom portion of the wall is about 12, so half the wall is 12, so just 12 times 2 is uh, 24. So you do the same thing, convert it to meters, and you're going to get 7.315 meters. So that will be what we use for y in this trial. Same thing, solve for time. This time it's a set at 1.15, which is much larger of a number. And same process, plugging the values, g ends up being 11.6, which is much closer to what it is on Earth. So the only factor that we did not include is air resistance, which would cause the gravity to be even higher because your, your well in this case, horse and rider aren't going to be falling quite as fast as they would like without, hypothetically without any kind of air resistance. So it, it still is going to be close to 9.81 and for a game, this is pretty accurate. It's, it's not perfect, but you can't expect it to be perfect. There's still room for error in this trial. I'm actually impressed that Star Stable got the value close to what it is in real life. I was expecting it to be much higher or lower, just random, but it seems they might have actually taken a little bit of consideration. If you have any more questions about Star Stable, we'll be happy to make more theory, vi theory videos. Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos.